Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan for episode 18 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm in the process of reorganising, taking down the silo, putting up the new silo, and checking on the um, liquid manure production. As you can see, the liquid manure production has got everything in it. So what I'm going to do is run it again till it runs out. Then I'm going to bring the tanker back up, fill it up, and then send the tanker back so that will mean this will be empty because i got paid for what i did the other day but here's the weird thing the silo was here done a little bit of landscaping around so i removed the silo did a bit of landscaping and put the new silo over here when i sold the old silo it said i'd be paid for the silo but it had um materials in it it paid me for 271,000 litres of wood chips, 30,000 litres of water, and 90,000 litres of straw, which is showing in there. So by placing them next to each other, when it registered that everything I put in here was also in there, it doubled it. I didn't get paid very much for it, but it doubled it all up. So I thought once I got rid of the silo, it would disappear from here. I moved the silo over. The silo is now showing as empty. But that is showing us having all the products in it. So, like I say, I'm going to let this run. Uh, I'll probably see you in July now. Uh, what I'll do is I'll run this completely out, and then um, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow I'll bring a tanker up. I'll empty it. Um, I, I could do the same thing. I could remove it and replace it. I guess would be a quicker way maybe of doing it. But I'd have to re-landscape everything and. It's just easier doing this. So, yeah, I'll see you in July. Um, actually, I don't think we'll have... I want better check, because I'm not sure on the old... Uh, where are we? There we go. Oh, no, July, there won't be anything. Um, I haven't got any olives, so nothing to plant. Poplar we could still put in the ground, so I think we might go down the poplar route. Um, we won't have anything to harvest until August at the very earliest. For our wheat, barley, oats and sorghum. Flax won't be until September. Oh, we'll have peas and lentils. We've got some lentils in the ground. Definitely, we have. Um, we'll see as we move into next month whether we've got anything cheap to buy. I'm keeping my eyes out, eyes out for a harvester. Yeah, we'll see how we go. But I just thought I'd show you that. That's the situation now. That is separated far enough that that's not registering. What's in that isn't registering in there. So we should be okay there. That fitted in really nicely in this little gap as well. The road that was already here, coming out of here and going around there, right up towards the... We didn't encroach on the neighbour's field. I should have really placed it here first of all, but anyway. It's done now. Here's the thing for you. We're into July. I've come over. I thought, right, I'll empty it out. Good to go. It's got to be something else. It has to be something else causing a problem. And I don't know what. Because that, as I showed you earlier, well, literally for you seconds ago, is empty. It's nowhere near it. This has now run, and we're about the same position we were the day before. 393,000 litres of slurry but it still hasn't used any of the products in it. The wood chips, water and straw hasn't moved. What's going on? So many people message me saying it's working fine. That they're having no problems with it at all on their map. Um, so I'm going to have to remove it. That's my only option now. And the problem I've got is I suppose I'll get 20 grand back, but yeah, so that, that foray into trying something different with wood chips, for whatever reason, whatever's causing the problem, um, and like I said, it's a good problem to have if you want something that's going to make you money, and you might place this on your map, on your farm, and it won't do this. I don't know why it's doing it. It's got to be a mod conflict. It's got to be something that's causing it to do this. But yeah, still haven't used any of the products that's in it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to remove it. 
um, I'll re-landscape and then I think if I do poplars and we do wood chips again I might go down the wood pellet route again maybe um, oh, we shall see but yeah that's a peculiar one I've got no contracts available so um, yeah weird pretty weird oh well I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee and then I'll sort it out Slurry tank is removed. I'm back down at the store. Now we're looking at poplar and unpopular choices. Uh, I'm going to be doing the poplar as I said, but I'm going to show kind of like an infomercial type thing. We're going to look at both options. There might be other options, but the two that I'm kind of more familiar with, I guess. One is going to involve me doing some ploughing. The other one we can do directly. One is slower, one is faster. So it will give you some options, some ideas, you know, one's more realistic, one's not, you know however you want to look at it but here's the thing i was talking about the new harvester i said i couldn't remember the one i'd had and i thought it's by caesarius and it is here's the weird thing and you can't make this up if we go to here look under our used vehicles today what did i say 150 grand i wanted to buy a harvester about 150 grand 49 percent off no word of a lie just completely just popped up 18 months old now the only problem with that is there's not as much uh i say adjustability on that because that's a standard one and i'd have to get the header as well which to be fair i hadn't even really thought about that i just thought 150 grand on the harvester i kind of in my head thought harvester header combined which is a is a big ask to be fair 150 grand but yeah that popped up and it just made me smile because i thought i only said that the other day so here's what we're going to do because I found it I remembered it is one of these two you can have a two wheel drive or the four wheel drive I'm going to go for the four wheel drive and look at the start price um, the same as the Steiger really when I got that um, there's the Colossus which is oh, that's very nice but I'm going to go with this I think we're going to start off with one of these I might get two of these I'm going to go for the extension which gives me 12,219 litres for the size of Harvester I'm not going to argue with that I'm going to go for 305 horsepower on the harvester. Should be right for the header. I'm going to go for those two. Uh, I'm going to go for those or those. What do we reckon? That or that? That I reckon. Uh, logo. Might as well. Side protectors. Leave them on. Longer pipe. Doesn't hurt to have a long pipe. saying nothing design color no license plate do we go with the mr silly pitch i go with the mr silly pitch this time why not let's do it i haven't done it for a while so we might as well and we want it to be case so 82 grand for the harvester 12,000 litre capacity shouldn't be as noisy as the other one let's buy it now i need to get a header i'm going to get a i'm going to go for a, a probably a 12 or a 13 meter i'm going to go as big as I, actually i don't know if that pipe's going to be long enough it might be whether or not the harvester will run it bit of a gamble but I'm going to do it. I'm going to. It's going to be about eighty grand. So, harvester and header together will come in at about one hundred and seventy. And I said one hundred and fifty. So, I have to say, it's not bad. I'll sort the header out. Uh, oh, the other thing we need to do is we're going to lease. I said it was under forestry, and it is. The Damcon PL75, I was correct. We're going to lease that. We're going to go and we're going to lease, because I also said I would do it, under Potato Technology, if you've got it, the uh, GL860 Multi. Uh, is it Fluffy Mods? I think it's Fluffy. Pretty sure it is. Uh, and that will do uh, Poplar, Sugar Cane or Potato. Uh, we'll get it. We want it to kind of stand out a little bit, I guess, to me. 
Oh no, don't like that. Let's go with... Yeah, that'd be alright. Doesn't really matter. Lease. Okay. This is to show what's available and what we can do as well, really. And then we need to come down to here. And I'm going to go with Poplar Palettes. Um, we'll go one for the Damkin. And then two. That can be 6,000 litres worth. That should be plenty for Poplars, I think. So I'll sort the header out and I'll see you in a minute. And then, um, did I not buy the... Oh, yeah, be behind that. I'm just looking at the blurred picture behind thinking, where's the harvester? I'm assuming it's behind the tractor. So then, all in. Harvester. Oh, actually, I'm looking there to now thinking that harvester looks really quite skinny. Uh, I th um. <laughs> we'll give it a go. Um, I'm going to get a pickup header because we're going to do swathing at some point, but that will be something we'll worry about later down the line. And if we get any harvest contracts that come up that require um, a corn header, we'll lease a corn header. So at least we'll get a new head. We've got a new harvester. That's great. I said I was going to do that. So what I'm going to do on the back, I'm going to grab the. We'll grab the PL75. Stick one box on. And I'll come back for the compactor. We have got rain coming. It's cloudy. It's not going to be the greatest of days, but there we go. One on. The pickup's already there. I've got the rock picker because well, obviously once I do a bit of ploughing. Um, we're going to get stones come up, so I'll just grab... There won't be a lot of stones, but we'll grab what we can off there. They're just staying in the rock picker at the moment because we haven't got a full load yet. If I get to a point where I'm doing rock picking anywhere and I get a load more, I'll, I can run my lime production again and just keep doing it till it fills up and I might sell some more lime like I did. I was getting about, what, 12? Oh, was I getting 15 grand? I can't remember what I was getting now. Per load, was it 12 grand? Some of that, wasn't it? There is a patch here, We've, there's a kind of plateau here, this side of the, there's a ditch there with a creek running down it. We could put some in here as well. We'll see. I've got 6,000 litres worth of poplars to put in. If it turns out I've bought way more poplar than I need, which I often do, I know we can always come back and grab more. Uh, come back and grab more. We can always go into that plot over there and we can put some in there if we have to. I'm not grabbing more. Uh, let's drop that down to there. Now I can run this plough forwards or backwards, so I could have just put it on the front. To be fair, I could run it as is, but I'm not going to. So the question is, where... Do I do the ploughed bit? Probably this front section. I'm not going to do loads of it ploughed, but just to show that you can use both and it will work. And you know, it's an option. It depends if you want to get poplars in quicker or not. Like I say, it's not the most realistic way of doing things, but it, it will work. thinking if we do a couple of strips like this maybe or do I do three strips like this and then otherwise I'm going to have way too much popper in the uh, planter and then I'll do yeah actually you know what where, where I haven't where the trees are in the way like that. I can do it with the other one around those, can't I? It'll work out. I've kind of got a plan. <laughs> Have I? I don't, know. I don't think I've really. 
most of it's a wing and a prayer. Well, actually, that probably worked out just about right, didn't it? I often say, sometimes it even seems like I know what I'm doing, but not always. So there's not going to be a lot of stones, but we might as well get them up out of the way. That will do for the time being. Let's hold that. I'll get the rocks collected. And then we'll get the dam come running. So with the Demcon, you just you can allow create fields, and it will do a little plow, literally enough wide enough for two two um, two rows of poppers to go in. The other one acts more as a planter, so you have to run it like that. Seeing as I was in the pickup anyway, with the rock picker in it, I thought I was over and pick up the uh, the planter. Some of the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed I forgot to record it. I said I was going to do it. Whilst we have got the patina back, we have had a respray of sorts, so a lot of the dings and scratches and stuff are gone. I think I can't remember how much it was now for three, four grand. So it wasn't expensive, not too expensive anyway. So yeah, we have had it kind of resprayed, recoated, should we say? I don't know. It's pretty beat beat up anyway, but it's uh, it's better beat up than it was. So what we'll do is um, we use the tractor for both. I do keep looking down the train line just in case the train does come. It'll be the one time I think, oh well, it's obviously not going to, and I'm going to get clattered, aren't I? So uh, better safe than sorry. Stop there. So. The Damcon PL75. Now this will only run at about four, three or four miles an hour I think. I'm not going to start directly into the gap here and go a little bit further along and we'll go to the side here just so I've got enough room to get the other one in. If we allow create fields, uh, I'll try and turn it on, drop it down. What should happen is this little rotavator at the front there does its spinny thing and then it should do a double row depending on the angle I do this at as we go now as I said this is a much slower way of doing it as you can see we're going at 5 miles an hour I'm sure this used to go at 4 anyway it doesn't matter and you'll put the rows in we can then turn around come back the other way we can put the rows right next to each other we can double row them however we want to go about it you can do this into a regular field as well it doesn't have to be like this what I'm going to do is, actually I wasn't intending to go up here, or weave in. So we'll do some rows around. So like I said, compared to doing it using that other bit of kit, which is not normal. So not normal. <laughs> not usual, not normal, it sounds awful. We'll get a load in. And I, like I said before, I do it every single time. I buy, buy way too much. I remember Lone Oak Farm, I did oh, I mean, a massive field of poplars. It took me so long going up and down and up and down. I loved it, but it was, uh, did take a while. So if you haven't had a crack at poplars yet, again, it depends if, you know, if you've got if you've got somewhere you've got a really good wood chip price, 
you might be on a map that for whatever particular reason wood chips pay out really well or you might have found another use for them or you know there'll be something we'll go to over there we'll lift it up and obviously because this is putting kind of small plants in the ground again it depends how you want to look at it i've got narrows on should make a difference anyway so a lot of people will come along next to it like that leave enough room for the tyres and then go again so you'll get a gap between or if you want to you can go because they're new shoots you can go right up close and double line if you want to there was that oh what was the modded one have we got that i've just suddenly thought have we got that what was it the pl10 no the one you could hook it was like a frame and you could hook multiple you could do three of these. When I did six ashes, I had three of these hooked together, so you could do three rows at a time. I'm not, I'm not misremembering that, am I? I don't think I am. So some of these rows will join together. Depends how close I get, and then see when I'm turning, they might. Or I can go if I didn't have twins on here, jewels, narrow twins. Well, I just have one set of narrows. I could be offset from the row I've already done and just have a little gap. Probably should have changed the tyres for doing this. It's quite relaxing. It's one of those jobs, again, if you were going to do a lot of music in this, put an audio book, a bit of music, off you go. No, in all honesty, until I skip through now till well, July to August, we're not. Get, I haven't got a lot else to do. Poplars was my next job that I was intending to put in, which I'm now doing. I've got nothing to harvest. My baling's done. Uh, did I say my bales are at 40? My, those silage bales I did um, in June, they're at 46%. So. Not much longer. Shall I continue? I think I'm going to have to put in the I'm just realised now, unless that other that planter absolutely hooned through them, which it might do. I think 4,000 litres in the other one might be way too much, but there's no variable seed rate on the planter for poplars. It's just it's not a thing. So we'll see when we use the other one. Depending whether you're an inside radius or an outside radius will depend how close it puts them together, of course. Unless I just move over a little bit. Well, you can guess what I'm going to say next. I've got a bit more of this to do. I will see you in a little while. It's going to rain between 8 and 10, I think. You know, that almost worked out perfectly. If we zoom out... I ran out just on the last strip through here. I was going to do some more at that end, but we ran out. 2,000 litres, and it filled that gap and that gap up here perfectly. So now to see whether or not the other one, how much it's going to get through. 
Like I say, I'm sure I've used it before, but I cannot for the life of, life of me remember how much it used. So um, I've got a bit of space here. I've left myself room to get in and out, but I could plough some more out if I need to. And like I said, there's, there is that plot over there, that little kind of plateau. We could put some more in there if we wanted to. I mean, it, we could on a wide stretch down the side of the... I think the plough might be too wide, actually. I've got a nine metre. If we did a six... I'm just thinking, these verges by the side of the roads, you could run strips of poplars along those if you wanted to. I guess. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but you could do. I think when I'm done, what I might do is go up to the farm and grab that fertiliser spreader. I need to buy another thing of fertiliser. And um, I might run the fertiliser over it just to give it as good a chance as possible. Let's open that out. So you can see on the back, poplar potato and sugar cane. Let's do it. I think we just drop it down, we don't turn it on. Now, as you can see, it's not putting in shoots like that or small plants. I've just gone over a strip, I already did. Whoops, uh, that's all right. But when it gets into the first growth stage, it will. So I will fertilize it, but. And also, obviously, it will grow a lot thicker because it's all right on top of each other rather than in gaps between like that. So there are pros and cons for both ways. Yeah, we haven't used very much at all. So I guess as well it would come down to well it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to come down to, but if you were going to do you know if you wanted to do a massive field of poplars, then this is definitely going to be the. I would keep saying better, but yeah, I suppose technically the quicker way of doing it. And I guess as well, doing it this way on a on a larger scale, whilst at the moment wood chips aren't paying out particularly well, and again, it depends on the map. With enough of them, the same as with potatoes and sugar beet. I mean, if you did you know, millions of liters of this stuff. Because there is the pop, pop six X, to the pop six X header for the forage harvesters. Because these need to be harvested with a forage harvester. The pop six X header is a six meter header, which means that harvesting them, harvesting them can be done a lot quicker as well. Which will make life a lot easier. Yeah, I have used hardly anything. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's drop that down. I'm definitely going to need to put some more because I can't unload this. So, I mean, it wasn't expensive, was it? Two pallets, was it 280 a pallet? So it's not the end of the world if I've got a load left in it. But I think I will go the other side and plough some more. I'm going to have to overlap this a little bit because I've gone a little bit wide there. An otherwise unused plot of land being put to use. Or I guess if you were just running, if you were just selling them at a biomass heating plant, you don't have to actually run a production with them if you're running a heating plant that requires them. Again, another massive amount of them, you could probably make a tidy bit of money. Well, <laughs> I'm just. I think what I'm going to do as well, when we come around to harvesting these, if I remember, bearing in mind, all those strips there, the other side, we use 2,000 litres. And what I've done here, we haven't even used 500 litres yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest this ploughed bit and then harvest that bit separately. 
and see what literage we get off of it because that's actually another big part of this as a, as a kind of test really as options either way if we get way more literage off of this bit whilst it was more labor intensive because i had to plow it first and then remove the stones acre for acre we could end up with way more wood chip off of this than we are for that plus we're using far less seed so you could plant far more for less there's some logic in there somewhere i'm sure there is so question is at this point i'm just wondering how wide is this this strip here this is also owned by the municipality it's just the fact there's a fence there i took the entire fence out but that six meters wide that would fit down there hmm i might <laughs> I might run, I might go and narrow my plow actually. Go and take it, configure it, narrow it, and run a strip. This is six metres wide, isn't it? I'm not misremembering. Yeah, six metres wide. I'm going to do that. Why not? I'm so far gone now. So, so far gone. I am so far gone on all this farming. So far gone, so far. No, I'll, I'll stop talking. On the poplars, because I've got them, I'm going to use them. So, uh, the dam can go back. So, what I'll do is set the plough on. I'll go over to the store and I will adjust the size of that to six metres. You'll need a bit of rock picking again, but that's not a problem. And I'll plough out probably that bit down there as well, that plateau and I'll get the rest of these in. Then I'll go and grab the fertiliser spreader, we'll get some fertiliser on it. There we go, take them back that way. <laughs> oh dear, I've lost it.
Now, I'm not going to lie, I might have done my usual and gone a little bit overboard. <laughs> I might have gone a little bit obsessive. I decided to kind of extend the test. I've got 2,129 litres of stones in here, which I'm going to put into my uh, lime production. You'll see as well that the uh, where the slurry tank has gone. Got a nice big gap there, so we can put the stuff in. We have done a little bit of landscaping to sort that all out. So I'm going to put this in here now. Here's the thing. I said about the fact that I was going to measure like for like whether or not what I'd planted would yield more than what I'd used using the Damcon for doing poplars. If I got more yield from it, then I've used far less seed, it's, you know, more efficient, that kind of thing. Then I thought, well, I could push that out further. And what I could do, if I keep... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. If I keep ploughing and rock picking and planting until I've used 2,000 litres. So I did 2,000 litres, one box full on the Damcon to do all of those strips. What if I do 2,000 litres using the other planter? So I'll just keep ploughing ground until I've used 2,000 litres. And that should yield way, way more, shouldn't it? The problem with that was, to get to my 2,000 litres... Yeah, I went a bit over the top thinking about it. I could have got nice big wide strips here. Um, I ploughed along the edges of the, um, the roadway, as well as that field. I think I've got to return the planter now. It's got 2,200 litres left in it, so I've used 1,800 litres. So a little bit less than the Damcon. But the ground I've planted with it is way, way, way more. So we'll see. When it gets around to harvesting the poplar, even if I don't end up using the poplar of anything, even if I don't do anything with the wood chips, it'd be interesting to see as a test. I think I probably already know the answer, but it doesn't hurt to try it, does it? So what I'm going to do is whiz over, give it a bit of a squirt with the fertiliser. The difference between the two as well, using the Damcon, because you've already got the... Um, the plants in the ground and they're sticking up out of the ground you can fertilize it but that's it with the other one it's showing as needs rolling so potentially it will need rolling now i'm pretty sure as well there won't be a fertilizer rate for poplar i wouldn't have thought so because it's an unusual crop type it's not one of the standards so what i'm going to do is let's just do that I'll activate automatic application rate, but I don't think it's going to find anything. In which case, it'll either not put anything down, or if I put it back onto manual, it'll lose, it will at least do... Ah, oh, that's what I've just realised. When I, when I did the... What did I do? Lentils. Because I put it on automatic application rate, because it can't find anything on auto, it puts it on zero kilograms per hectare. If I'd have turned it off of automatic and put it on manual, I would have at least put 18 kilos down, so I would have got some down. Like I said, I don't think we're going to get anything come up on here, because we've got no field information either. No, he's putting some down. question is, what side do I go? Let's go that side. No values detected, but it's putting down 444. That's putting a huge amount down. Okay, let's turn that for a second. I need to drop that down, I think. Deactivate. So we'll have some fertiliser on it, but not bonkers amounts. So you'll see now as we go down further here the insanity with which I uh, yeah I think I got a little bit is it over exuberant <laughs> oh fence I'll come back and do that bit in a minute but I'll show you so we did the field on the left then I ploughed to the right and I ploughed all the way down there all the way down the side round the bend and then ploughed a little bit back and when I got to that point we were 
I think it's 2,200 left in there, so 1,800 litres planted. But when I got to this corner, it narrowed on this side, so I couldn't plough any more without going onto the road, which I was trying to avoid doing. And I also kind of looked and thought, what am I doing? I'm, I've Honestly, when I said earlier I'd lost my mind, this was going, I think, probably a step too far. So that needs to go back. I'll lose a tiny bit for the, the, for the sake of argument. One, one case of poplars, which is, what was it, 280? So I'll put this fertiliser down. It's showing it's going down, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. And then I will, um, come all the way over? Maybe. Then I'll roll it. And then it will be a case of wait and see. So I'll probably then skip ahead July to probably into August. And fingers crossed we'll have some harvest contracts to do. And that'll be the plan anyway, moving forward. <laughs> oh, I'm looking down here now thinking, what was I doing? Still there'll be a load of poplars I guess. It's interesting really when you think about it. Just how much more ground I managed to cover compared to using the Damcon. It was I always thought the Damcon was amazing. You know, you would keep you would keep going and keep going and keep going with one pallet. But this is another um, another level. So anyway, that's it for today's episode. New harvester purchased. We've sorted out the situation with the silo up at the farm and the production of, of um, slurry so that's now been removed and we're not doing that now uh, we've sorted out the poplar situation we've tried out both different ways we'll give it a go and see what happens and then it will be on to fingers crossed we'll, we'll see what comes first there'll either be some harvesting contracts will pop up and i hope we get quite a lot this time because we didn't get many last year hopefully we'll get a few that will pay out a nice bit of money we've got our harvest that we can try out and then our silage bales will be ready they should be fermented at some point so uh, we'll sell those I'm trying to get the money up so we can buy some more fields um, oh yeah it's what's saying dawn to me because I was going to buy another flax field wasn't I and I've just spent the money on a harvester so what we'll do is fingers crossed the silage bales are ready to sell before Yeah, before we've got flax harvest, I don't know, we'll see. And then we'll have a go at the swathing thing and all of that, we'll give all that a go. And hopefully that'll be a turning point. More fields, bigger fields, and then we can turn a better profit as we move forward. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free, and if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>